wait until you see how these gorgeous paper collage earrings turned out let's do it okay, you guys so here's part two of making paper mache collage earrings somebody gave me a thumbs down did not like my video but you know can't be for everybody right <laughs> So I pray that you love how the earrings turn out. I think they're gonna be incredible. Wait until you see, I'm gonna show you right quick um, what the sheet came out looking like. I'm totally joking. I know we don't all like everything. So this is what the sheet looks like on one side. That's what it looks like on the other side. We're gonna cut out our earring sizes and then um, we may be able to get two pair out of here. We'll see. And then we're also gonna gloss it and that'll be finishing up the earrings in part two of making paper mache earrings collage style okay hi you guys so let's go ahead and get our design finished up i definitely wanted to do part two on yesterday but real estate called so thank you again for all of my new subscribers super excited that you're here when the time permits i share videos on tuesdays and thursdays they're normally in the form of a creative video and a ministry video so i definitely have some ministry videos i need to get uploaded and then more creative projects coming for 2021 super excited so you know we finished this yesterday and i showed it to you not yesterday day before yesterday and i just showed it to you a second ago so now all you need is some type of template so it looks like i'm going to be able to get at least two pair of earrings out of our um, design I think so depending on where you lay each piece you should be able to get a specific number of earrings we're gonna aim for four so if you don't have anything that you can use as a template I saw where someone used a um, what is that thing that goes around it just escaped me the minute I was trying to, to say, say a protractor um, but anyway you use it in geometry you could use that to get a perfect circle um, you could cut out a perfect circle or square from online. You get the gist. So, y'all, I love this chunky pencil. They came in packs of two. Um, my 14-year-old is an incredible artist. I gave her one. I barely use it because I don't want the, um, the edge to go down, although I do have an old-timey pencil sharpener in my garage. So, we're just going to use this to figure out where we want our design to be. And if I were you, I would do it as close to the edge as possible. And you don't want to do it in a dark format um, because you don't want the eraser to show up in your finished design. So the reason I said do it close to the edge is because then what will happen is, and you want to make sure you have like probably as close to similar colors as possible, which is going to be kind of hard because again, this is a collage design. But the closer you do it to the edge, the more you will have available in terms of your design and in terms of your paper. To have additional pairs of earrings so it's really going to depend on what you're making so i can see my circle there we're going to use to cut out and i'm going to use this teardrop i'm going to get close to the edge you don't want to be right on the edge because let's say you have a frayed edge from where we cut off the excess paper that was overlapping so you want to be just maybe a smidge up from that and then we're gonna have to go this way to cut it out. The only thing I don't like about that is my words are gonna be sideways, so that's fine though. No such thing as perfection. They're gonna be super cute. I'm excited about these. So then we're gonna go ahead, oops, and trace out our templated design. So remember, you don't wanna do it too dark. Now, you wanna use a good pair of scissors to cut with, but you don't wanna use fabric scissors, right? Because of course you don't wanna mess your scissors up. The wood templates and shapes, if you're new to my videos, I get these from Michaels. I said Hobby Lobby the other day, but that's not where I get these from. I get these all the time from Michaels. Sometimes they're out of stock, so whenever they do have them in stock, I'll buy two to three packs at a time um, because they always run out, and they're just the best to make jewelry and earrings with. So I'm gonna go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and cut out the circles first. And what I may try to do is cut them out a little bit where I can do one at a time. I think I put them very close together on the template. So that way I'm not messing up any of the other designs. And again, this is our paper collage earrings. So your circle is not gonna be perfect, but if you follow your line as best you can, then you'll get close enough to a really great circle. I love how the collage turned out. Now you could also cut this template out with a big pair of scissors and then 
I have an exacto pair of scissors that needs to be sharpened. Someone I saw online where you can sharpen it with um by cutting into temple. So I need to, I said I was gonna do that last time and I hadn't done it yet. So you can always clean up the edges with a sharper pair of scissors. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Also, I have a hole punch that I could use on these. I'm not sure I'm gonna use a hole punch because um, I might wanna drill the hole because I want it to be better. And these are hard enough where I could, I, I could actually drill into them. So, super cute. Sorry for being off camera when I was cutting that, but these are adorable. So that's the first pair. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this one out as well. And I know it may be kind of boring watching me cut it, but for some people it might be therapeutic. Now, if you can, try not to waste any of the paper if you have some left over, because then you could always make some, I'm sorry, y'all, my allergies are bothering me, some rectangular straight edge earrings, you know, or you could make little squares. You could make little pieces to layer and add on to another pair of jewelry. So. Be sure if you have excess left over, don't throw it away because you can add it as a component in another design. You can make some pins. I was hoping to make a brooch, but instead I decided towards two pairs of earrings. And thank you for you all that keep reminding me to post my Etsy store in the description box. I always have good intentions to do that, but I know y'all don't know this, but sometimes I'm uploading my videos while I'm in the car, meaning I'm sitting stationary, getting ready to go show a home, and I'm like, oh, let me go ahead and upload my video. And so I don't always have time to stop and um, add all the descriptions, but I do go back and add them later. But I just appreciate those of you that say, hey, do you have a link to your store? It's not that I intentionally leave it out. Sometimes I'm just rushing, and I do it once I'm stationary before showing a home. So that's how that happens. So now we're gonna cut out our teardrop design. And you guys, I think these are so beautiful. Now we are going to put a gloss on these. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna get the design cut out. I'm gonna see if I wanna add any beads or anything like that. I'm not sure that I do. Um, but I do wanna add some marker to the edges just to give it a pop of color. I may wear these today, I may keep them for myself. I have a um, real estate closing. I wish I could take you with me, but they don't allow filming um, throughout that whole process because some stuff is confidential, like when they're going over people's rates and stuff like that. So I have shared photos on my page of all the cheering or pictures from the closing, but just not the actual process. And some people do not like to be on camera or film. <laughs> they're not interested in that. Look how cute those are. And look how cute the back is. Remember we put that chair on there? And so these, um, like for a broker, that's funny because of course I used um, some of these tear outs from a real estate magazine. So remember I was saying you have some left, you could cut this out and make it actually a rectangular earring if you wanted to do that, or you could do a cute brooch, anything you wanna do. Or you could layer it onto some other paper projects. I asked my husband last night, <clears throat> If he ever did paper mache, cause he did, he was in art class in um, high school. I really think also that's where my 14 year old gets it from. He's a really good artist. He draws really well too. He just doesn't have time. So look how much we have left there. That could make a cute chunky pair of earrings, but we're gonna stick with focusing on these for now. And I see where I'm gonna have to match them up at the top where I got off a little bit on my design on the pencil. I think when the pencil, um, when the template slipped. So anywho, I'm so glad this week is has gone by so fast. It has been super busy. And I, I say that in a blessed way because I pray that God is continuing to bless you and your families and that um, you haven't missed a beat, haven't missed anything. And for those of you that are looking for employment or looking for a job, I'm wishing you continued success. <laughs> And just that the blessings of the Lord would make it rich, all of you, and addeth no sorrow to your families. And so let's, I need to even this one up because it's a little different from, I think what I do is put it on top there. Let's see. Do y'all hear both knocking at the door? That dog is a trip. So 
I'm just evening up the top where it was a little flat on one and oval on the other. And then I gotta go let Bolt in. Can you hear him knocking? Literally, I don't know how my husband talks. I have to use his little paw to hit the door. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the little exacto scissors. And any of you that aren't new to my channel, you remember I bought these for my 14 year old when she was smaller. And my husband was like, uh, Garlinda, those are too sharp. <laughs> but she was always doing arts and crafts and she was so great with scissors. I really didn't think about the sharpness of them. God bless it. Thank God my kids made it through my mothering, my parenthood. <laughs> they say I'm a great mom, so. That matters, right? So I'm still trying to match up the tops because like I said, it got off just a little bit and I wanna narrow this top one just a smidge. I know there's no such thing as making it perfect, but I want them to be as close as possible. And then I'm gonna use my cordless Dremel that I got from Lowe's. You can get them on Amazon, someone shared. Um, I would do my best to share the link. I always say that and then sometimes I forget because again, I'm in the car at times. So, super, super beautiful. I love them. That's the back. Um, but of course, maybe you could flip them around if you wanted to. So, let me clean off some of the little paper shrillings. Oops. And then I believe that what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drill the holes in them because I want, um, sorry about that, I wanted to get the big pictures, this is out the way. I wanna be able to put a magic marker border around the edges of each of these. And remember, you can do this with paint if you want to, but I had just decided that I wanted to use my magic markers and some of the colors that are calling out to me are, of course, teal blue, ocean blue is one of my favorite colors in the whole world. I think those two are the actual same color. That's funny. I picked them up and they're the same. Um, I love that color. I got all these Sharpies again from Walmart. Um, and I was on the binge. I don't know why I wanted markers. I think because we were doing another paper project somewhere. This is actually a metallic Sharpie. And they're okay. I like them how they came out. Um, let me see if I can show you what it looks like on paper. It might not show up as shiny or metallic it, as it is, but it shimmers. I don't think that translated. Cut me some slack. So anyway, I think that'll be pretty on here. This one is another blue color. I think that'll be pretty as a border edge. I'm just showing you the different colors I'm considering using. I don't know that I like that one. That's like a darker teal blue, almost like a aquamarine. I don't know that I'm a, oh, I'm a fan of that. That's really pretty. Oh, this is a neon blue. Look at that. That's pretty. I think that's why I got carried away with the Sharpie. So let's take the green color out. And then of course, we already know what black is gonna look like. And even though I think the black is pretty, I don't think that it's gonna make any of them stand out. So. We're gonna skip the black. I'm gonna go drill a hole in these. I'm not gonna drill on the table. My husband would have a fit, a cow, and fall in it. So let's move all this out of the way. I'll be right back. Okay, so I drill the holes in them. As you already know, if you've seen my other videos, I use a Dremel light. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna hold that number up to the screen so you can see it. And I'll do my best to remember to, um, put a link to it, but I love this thing. It charges up, it lasts for the longest amount of time. You have to get the um, drill bit separately and I use a five quarter, five, five, four inch drill bit to drill the earring holes. So we have the holes in here, super cute. It did fray just a little bit, but we're gonna mar put marker around the edges anyway and we're going to um, Use the triple thick, triple thick gloss to give it a coat. Um, you could use Mod Podge if you wanted to, but I just personally feel like you're gonna need to seal it in some way. So I'm probably gonna use the triple thick on the front, and then I'm gonna do the Mod Podge on the back. So we're gonna do that right quick, and I always fight to get this thing open. Have, ugh, let's do this off camera. 
I did hair for 14 years. I do not have the strongest hands. I'd be My muscles won out, been working out. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're also gonna need an acrylic brush. We talked about that. And triple thick is hard to come by. I prefer the squeeze bottle, but this was all they had when I was at Hobby Lobby the last time. So I hurried up and scooped it up. If they'd have had two, out of bottle. So now all we're gonna do is give it one good gloss over. Um, oh wait, that's not what we're gonna do. Y'all, I'm sorry. We're gonna put the edges on first with the magic marker so we can seal that in. So let me go wash my brush off already. Okay, sorry about that. So let me get a little bit closer. Um, I was getting ready to seal them up and we hadn't put the marker on yet. So, this was the neon one. I liked it a lot. So I believe I'm gonna use that one on the round pair. And all I'm gonna do is trace along the edge. And it's just cause I wanna give it an edge. I want to finish it off, if that makes sense. Now, even though it's not gonna show up that well, it looks like I might have to use a darker color. I'm gonna keep on going around it since I already started with it. Ooh, how cool is that? So when I got on the lighter side of the paper design, it turned like a green when it hit that yellow side. So that'll make a difference what color you use to edge out your um, your jewelry with. So I wanna match them up and all I'm doing is going along the very edge. And you can still see the um, pencil line where I traced somewhat, but the marker is covering that up. So I'm probably gonna go over this with a um, darker blue color. So it will show up. And I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna put some embellishments on as well because, hey, that's how we do. So I showed you um, in part two, I believe. I'm sorry, part one, this is part two, where you could embellish with different stickers and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and use, I'm gonna use the metallic one since it is a darker blue. I'm just gonna go over the what we just did. And I would think that you wanna give this time to dry before you put the triple thick glaze on it. And also, any embellishments I do put on here, I'm gonna put on after I glaze it because I don't want the glaze to puddle around, you know, any of the stickers or anything that I put on there or cover them up. Now, you may do it differently. I mean, it's your design. You can do it in whatever order you wanna do it in, but that's the order I'm gonna do it in. So that's that. And then I think that I'm gonna put a color around the little hole just to make it stand out, okay? What are y'all doing today? The week has gone by so fast. Are all of you all working from home? And are you enjoying working from home? Or are you ready to get back with people? I have a lot of clients that are considering relocating halfway across the country since now their jobs told them they're gonna remain remote for a while. So I had a client that was actually considering moving to the beach permanently, which there's nothing wrong with that. Honey, break my heart. Put me in time out at the beach, right? So that's really pretty. So now let's decide. Ooh what color we are going, going to highlight these in. I am considering a black for these or either that green color that we had. Let's try that. Let's see how that ends up looking. I may not bore you with watching me do both of them, but I do wanna go ahead and get them outlined. And you guys, what's so fun about this is just think about it. You're recycling, you're creating something really great, and you're potentially making an income if you sell your designs. And you may say, well, who's buying recycled earrings? Honey, I see paper jewelry all the time in the store. I see all kinds of stuff for sale um, in the store, and especially in a lot of the specialty shops. When I first started selling jewelry, I was in one specialty shop in the mall, in um, Pentagon City Mall. And at that point, I was making, um, polymer clay, jewelry, and brooches and things like that. 
And when I sold my jewelry to Nordstrom's to um, the department store, they were actually cufflinks made out of polymer clay. And I had just boldly approached the buyer. I called the store, found out their buyers were in Virginia at Tyson's Corner, asked the guy, could I come in? He said yes, and he bought 100 pair of cufflinks. I was like, whoa, that was a God thing. So you'd be surprised what stores want what and what people are looking for because people, everybody's different. I mean, but look at Etsy, an entire site made around handmade items. Now I feel like they've gotten away from that somewhat, but that's neither here nor there. You have to innovate to stay in business. But um, so in other words, whatever you make, whatever you create, there's a market for it. If you see it has value and you believe in it, then other people believe in it. What about selling on Marketplace in your local area on Facebook? I mean, that's free to post in the list on there. So we don't need to overcomplicate it. People will want what you have when they know you have it. So here we go. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do one more. I think I want to do one more. One more line around. Because I want it to be a little bit darker. These are addictive. I'm not going to lie. If I made them, I'm like, I want to make some more of those out of collage. And then I think I want to do some paint techniques with it. So that may be the next video. Okay. And let's do one more line on this one. And then we're going to let these dry. And we're going to come back. We're going to gloss them. And we're going to put the finishing components on them. Did I uh, mention to y'all love the smell of magic? These don't really smell like a great magic marker, like the black Sharpies. Oh, oh my gosh, the black Sharpie and I, we best friends, that. And I'm weird, I love the smell of gasoline. I love the smell of um, new construction when you walk in the houses. I'm like, oh, I could just stay in here. Paint thinner, I'm all about that life. My husband's like, you know that's called huffing. I'm like, well, I'm not sitting doing it all day. I'm just when I happen to be using the item of the product. <laughs> So anyway, let's go over, circle one more time, and let's look and see what these look like. Oops, sorry for making all that noise, y'all. I think they came out really pretty. So now all we have to do is decide if we want to put some embellishments on there. And if I do, like I said, I'm going to do it after they dry. So I'm going to give the uh, magic marker time to dry, and then from there, I'll come back and let you watch me um, put the triple thick on there. I'm not going to use that same brush because I want to give you a tip. I had to rinse this brush off and what water will do, excuse me, I thought I had to sneeze. Water will cause air bubbles. So I'm definitely going to use a, dry, a brush that's dry and not use um, the brush that I had just rinsed off. So if you rinse your brush off or you get your brushes wet in some way and you go to use the triple fit, you may cause air bubbles. Just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so look how cute they came out. I went on and did the edges so that the edges would be covered as well and it wouldn't look unfinished. So I also did like a small little edge along the back using the marker so that it looked finished and I covered the hole back there as well. So now, we're just gonna gloss them. I'm assuming they're dry enough. <laughs> but guess what, it's art. So it's all gonna look good in my opinion. So we're gonna use again an acrylic brush. I've had these brushes forever. I'm just gonna use a generous coat of the triple thick. I love this stuff. You can use any gloss or glaze that you have that you like, um, but this is just one of my favorite ones. My podge is okay, but I don't know. It doesn't give me that glass-like finish that I prefer for my designs. Um, but I do think that for this project, it'll be good on the back. I'm not gonna attempt to avoid the hole because I can poke through that in a second with a toothpick or with something else. I'm gonna hold this up in the light where I can see it right quick. So that has a really great cover. I'm gonna sit it on something flat to dry which is just a little box that's like plastic, so it won't stick. So again, we're just gonna give a nice generous coat. And this is gonna protect your paper design. This means that the person can wear it year round. Um, they can wear it out, you know, in the sun. They can wear it if it's raining. It's not gonna get messed up. 
which I don't know anybody that wouldn't have an umbrella out in the rain. Even though if it's drizzling, I don't necessarily use an umbrella because um, I have braids or hair extensions. I do not like to get rained on. So nine times out of 10, if I am out and about, I'm trying to avoid staying out in the rain. <laughs> I don't know, do you notice that if you get rained on, you catch a cold? I don't know, that happens to me sometimes. So it was supposed to rain today. It said an 80% chance of rain, but it's bright, sunshiny out there. Yesterday, it reached 60 degrees here. And today, it feels like it's about to do the same thing. It's so beautiful outside. And it's just incredible. But look, we're in the land of the living. Ecclesiastes said it best. He said, a live dog is better than a dead lion because if you're in the land of the living, you have hope. Glory to God. And that is the truth. That's one of my favorite scriptures. So here you go. We got that one. One more. Just doing a generous dip dip. Because then you don't have to go in so many times. I'm super excited. I'm taking a real estate class so that training starts in about an hour. Because guess what? We have to always be learning. And <clears throat> real estate is changing so much. I've seen a lot of change in the last 13 years and I see it going in a different direction. So I don't want to get caught off guard. So my fellow real estate brokers, I'm gonna need you to look at the trends, see what's going on. Um, we're gonna be adding a different level layer, I should say, a different layer of service and value to our company. Um, we're super excited about that. So I'll be making that announcement soon. Sorry about that. I just noticed I had missed the edges on that one. Um, after I get through with what I'm working on. Okay, so pretty. We're gonna sit those down. We're gonna let them dry. I'm gonna go poke the holes through the earrings right quick using a little poker tool I have. And, um, I'm gonna come back after they dry. We're gonna finish them up and we're gonna have us two incredible pair of earrings. Okay, be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys are never gonna guess what happened and not in a good way. So remember I said I was using triple thick on my design, but look what I noticed after it started drying. It made like this clouded finish over the paper. Like turn like a cloudy white. So I'm gonna wait and see if it ends up drying clear, but look, it looks like it covered up some of the words. And I'm like, that sucks. But look, this one completely whited out like a glue. And so did this one. And just basically smushed up all the um, color and the lettering. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is flip it over and use the other side. But I have to let it completely dry now because thank God that the other side looks nice, right? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. So thank God the other sides are nice, but I'm gonna get, I have to let that dry completely because triple thick, you know, it takes a minute to dry. But I was really surprised by that. The cool part is I guess that the back will have a gloss finish. The only downside is that I wasn't planning to use the back, but Thank God the back is nice so we can use it. So that happened. But while we're sitting here waiting, I wanted to let you know that happened. And I'm gonna see about making another pair of what we have. Let's see. I was a little disappointed by that. But guess what? Ain't nothing we can do about it. We gonna cry with spilled milk. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these two and see if I can make a, um, trying to see if I could get an even square out of that, but I can't. So let's, see. let's cut this way. And I'm gonna do a test strip because I don't wanna use the Mod Podge and then it does the same thing, but I think Mod Podge is not at all like triple thick. So it'll probably be okay. I was really surprised that happened. Like, really? Um, triple thick, you wanna do me like that? So, <laughs> so anyway, let's get these cut even and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the triple thick on these and see what they look like. I'm just gonna use these as test. So, and if they are cute, then maybe we could use them as a top piece of the earring for one of those pairs. So, I don't need to go, I guess. Let's use some Mod Podge and see what happens on these. I 
was really surprised by that. That was just the weirdest thing. I'm gonna put some in the cap. Do it that way. And then let's see how the Mod Podge does on the paper. I'm wondering if it's because I used white glue to um, glue the paper down, if that's why the Triple Thick did it like that. So I'm gonna have to troubleshoot that. I don't think I have any glossy Mod Podge, so I also wanna see what this looks like. And that'll just suck if I have to do the whole project over again. But then we'll call this a blooper reel. I mean, it is what it is. I'm sure the thumbs down person will be back to hook us up. <laughs> oh my gosh. But let me tell you, as a teenager, I learned to laugh at myself, so I think that's funny. So let's leave this sitting here for a second. See what happens <clears throat> and see how that dries. And then if that dries decent, then we'll be able to use the backs of the other earrings instead of the fronts that we had. And that'll be good. We'll be good to go. Okay. okay, so head to clean this up and be right back. Okay, so the front did not come back around. They do have a nice gloss to them, but they clouded up. I have no idea what happened there. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the back of the design. Now I did do a test run on the other little squares we cut out and it just left a nice matte finish that's gonna protect the work and that's really what matters most. I did wanna have a gloss to them, but guess what? We are not gonna get bent out of shape about that because they're still super cute. I love how they turned out. The Mod Podge did not cause anything to run. And so we're gonna go with that. I thought that at some point I had purchased a um, gloss Mod Podge, but I guess I did and I probably was being cheap or something. But anyway, so I am gonna have to get one of those because I wanna have that gloss finish, but to get this design finished today and so I can go ahead and have maximum dryability, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the coat of the mat. I'm gonna do at least two coats because I want them to be, and that dried really quickly to be triple thick. I mean, it is glossy on the back. That just wasn't the initial design I wanted to go with, but thank God both sides look so cute to me that it won't even matter. And now I learned my lesson. Anytime I do paper mache using white glue, triple thick is not my friend. <laughs> I mean, it just happens. So that happened. So let's put this coat on, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sit it over by the heat to dry, and then we'll be able to put the second coat on. And also, we're gonna put it where it won't stick. So we're gonna do the backs. I think they're gonna be really cute. So I am gonna probably do some embellishments just to jazz them up, and so they'll be cute. Sorry for putting my hand across the screen. <clears throat> just so to have like some oomph and some je ne sais quoi. So <laughs> I'm just playing around. I got tickled cause I had done a video where we made jewelry using the Cheez-It boxes and I was stuff shoveling Cheez-Its in my mouth prior to jumping on the video. I need to be eating food, but I had just run between this video while I was waiting to see if the triple thick was gonna fix itself. I had ran to get the key out of the lock box because I have a closing in a couple of hours. So, I think I told you that already. So let's not be randomly repetitive. So look, it's already starting to dry. The Mod Podge, which is super cool. So, I'm gonna do one more coat since it's already starting to dry. And let's pray that it dries clear, that it doesn't give us any wonkiness and then we're all good to go there, and then we will finish up our design. And get going, okay, be right. Yeah, so let's get these earrings finished up, and look what I found out as I was looking at the earrings last night, I was thinking about throwing them away, I was like, oh boy. But look, they dried perfectly, so I don't know, maybe it was just something that happened with the reaction when I initially put the triple thick down, 
but they ended up drying perfectly. So even though I did go ahead and put Mod Podge on the back and I was prepared to use the backs, which are super cute as well, I can use the fronts if I want to. These are still kind of in the process of drying, but they're drying clear as well. Notice that some of the cloud is starting to clear up. So I'm not sure if maybe it was just some type of reaction with the um with the paper and the glue and the triple thick it was really weird so anyway those are still drying so i'm gonna sit those off to the side i'm debating whether or not i want to use the fronts or whether or not i want to use the back but i did decide that i'm going to use the stickers that i have that you've seen me use before um i'm going to use some of the colored stickers on the the round pair that's over there drying and so what you're going to need for these and I'm gonna show you something else I'm thinking about doing is, uh -oh. you're gonna need some earring findings, but we already talked about that. And I got all of my earring findings from, or jewelry findings from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna be using the fish ear wires and then just the round jump rings. I don't have the millimeter sizes, but I'm using two different sizes. So a smaller one and a larger one, put those down. And then I'm going to be using the stickers I got. I get these from Michaels. You all already know I love the, um, I forget the brand, but you can find these on the sticker out at Michaels. Use your 40 and 50% off coupon or your 20% off. But something else I decided to do was maybe put some fringe hanging down from the earrings using denim. So I'm thinking about cutting um, a piece of denim and then fringing it out and having it hang from the back like to add to the design. I'm not sure. I'm, I am gonna cut it out right quick while we're on camera and let's take a look and see what it'll look like. And if it's not cute, I think my phone was saying it was dying. If it's not cute, then you know, we just won't use it. I'm not gonna put it on there. So if you have a pair of old jeans that you know you don't wear anymore, not sure if you saw one of my videos. Um, if you look under the statement jewelry playlist, you'll see where I've used the denim, um, where I did a video using old jeans to make earrings. So I'm just thinking about doing some fringe that will hang down. I don't know, just to give it like some more, just additional statement. I was gonna say to give it another look, but really I just saw the jeans and was like, hmm, that might be cute. But I'm just trying to figure out how to cover up the, um, like the big wide part on the back so it won't look, you know, like just stuck on the back, like a pair of denim jeans stuck on the back. So I'm not sure. I'm just thinking that might be kind of cute. Let's see. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna make it a little bit more fringy. I'm gonna make it probably a little bit wider only because it has to go across the whole bottom base of the earring. And I cut up a pair of jeans and I just use, I mean, you could probably get so many, not probably, you can get so many jean earrings out of one pair of denim. You could do necklace pendants. I mean, so much, so many design choices that you could create. So, Let's lay that down right quick and let's see what that would possibly look like. You guys, I'm thinking I like that. So let's see. I don't like that little piece of sticking right there. So let's lay it down one more time and see what it would look like. Because I was like, you know, how can we just make it look even cuter you know, with our designs that we're gonna be gluing on here as well because I'm all about a statement earring. I'm all about something that no one else has and it just being super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because I don't want it any wider than that or any larger than that anyway. It looks like octopus legs. So let's hold it up and see what it looks like. That's cute. So I'm gonna make uh, um, another one that goes with the other side as well to match it. And to me, they don't have to be perfect. Now what you could do if you wanted to is you could go ahead and pull strings out and all that stuff if you want to, to fringe it out even more, but I'm not gonna take the time to do that. 
because I feel like it's already cute the way it is. I'm going to cut off these little frayed edges. Oh, you guys, happy Friday. It's Friday. Oh, if you get a chance, look at the ministry video I uploaded. It'll be under Pastor Garlinda Price. It's also under Common Ground Ministry. It's in my playlist. Oh, my God, it's so good and yummy. And I had recorded it sometime back. Um, and I, But what I'm doing is I'm still in the process of uploading ministry videos from Facebook that the Lord blessed my husband and I to do. Because um, for those of you that don't know, we minister on Facebook every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And this is one that I had done one night. We were going on date night. And um, it's titled, Do You Have the Look? Right? Because so many times we may look at ourselves when we're in ministry or we're called to the um, to people. We're called, the Lord calls us to preach or to prophesy or to be evangelists, to be teachers, to be disciples. We're all called to be disciples, right? So many people tell me, well, I'm not called. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> the word said we are all called to be disciples. So whether or not you accept the calling is a whole nother thing or not, but it's not true that you're not called, right? That's the word of God. And so the um, title of the ministry video was, Do You Have the Look? Because oftentimes, you know, we may look in the mirror and be like, well, you know, I don't have hair extensions as cute like hers. Like, I'm not shaped like her. I don't preach like him. I don't prophesy like they prophesy. I don't speak in tongues. I don't have the word memorized, you know, from Alpha, <laughs> from Alpha, <laughs> from Genesis. I was gonna say Alpha and Omega, from Genesis to Revelation. And so we tend to look at ourselves and what we aren't instead of who we are in Christ and what God has called us to be. And so the Lord blessed me to share this incredible verse of scripture where um, Samuel went and anointed David as king. You got to listen to it. Oh my gosh. I, get, I wanted to do cheetah flips. I just thank God for the opportunity to be a servant and to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. Um, just to be able to share the word of God, right? That's the highest calling. It's the best calling we could ever have. And the most honorable calling to me that we could have is to work in the vineyard of the Lord. Just my, I'm just saying for me, right? The opportunity to make God famous. So I'm just going to try to match these up as best I can. I'm just cutting in between the little octopus legs, make them the same. Um, and they're not going to be exact, right? But I'm going to do my best to cut them as close as I can to the same number of legs at least, right? So that's the goal. And then we're going to start gluing stuff on. But I also need to figure out how I can cover this up on the back. So it doesn't just look like, you know, a little piece across the back. So let me go up just a little higher here. So it's just this fringy and that's really not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> but it, so it has the same movement and it's just as close to the other one as possible. Plus this one may be a little bit thicker on the ends than that one is. So I just wanna hold it up and see. These things are, these things make me happy. They're so cute and wiggly, right? Even that could be a super cute pair of earrings, right? Just some plain fringe. So I'm gonna have to clean off the workstation too in a second, only because, so yeah, that one's a little bit thicker than that other one. So let's cut some of this edge off, this end off. You probably need some decently decently sharp scissors to do this. Remember, these are exacto scissors, so they're pretty sharp. Um, I'm just gonna cut some of them, some of the legs shorter. They're not legs, but fringe, <laughs> fringe pieces. Um, okay, so I don't wanna accidentally cut them up. So let's see what we have and see how close they are. So. What are y'all doing today? So today I have to meet some clients and I mean, I have a pretty free day, but I'm studying for a real estate class. I think I told you that, so I have to do that today. But I wanted to get this done, and I really wanna make another video, but I have to have some ideas in mind, and right now I don't have any new ideas. So, we're gonna finish this pair up, and then we'll see what happens after that and what direction we go in. So, forgive me for all the 
movement, but I wanna make sure. So let's lay those down and match them up. I'm gonna make sure that they're even. And you guys, I like that. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it. Hold on. It's gonna be really cute, so I just have to figure out how we're gonna glue them on, excuse me for my hands on the camera, on the back this way. So when they're laying back there, It looks kind of decorative across here versus a plain denim sheet. First thing sheet. you're going to need is some E6000 glue or whatever glue of choice. I see a lot of people use Gorilla Glue. I don't think that um, super glue would work in this instance. So, um, I don't know you guys. I'm almost like, am I committed to this side or am I committed to that side? That was tough. That side is nice, but this side is cuter. Um, just because I think the matte look of it, I mean, the shiny look is cute, but the matte side of it, one, it lays flat, more flat, I should say. Probably because of the way it dried. I think that's really cute. And so I'm almost thinking I'm gonna work in reverse because I just think that's gonna have more of an appeal to me anyway. So I've decided I'm gonna use the backs that we did with, that were matte instead of the front. And we're gonna go ahead and glue them down and we're gonna give them time to dry. And then we'll come back and glue on the other findings and finishing. So how I'm gonna glue these down is I'm gonna do it really close to the edge of the bottom. And then I haven't decided, I think what I'm gonna do is, so we need to do it that way. So I think what I'm gonna do is put like a little pearl bead or some type of little design at the top when I lay it down, similar to this, just to give it some decoration on the back. And that way, when someone sees the back of the earring, it's not just a piece of blue jean denim back there, right? So I'm gonna put the glue across here. And again, remember we did the fringe kind of high up. I'm just gonna lay it on there and press it down. I think I wanna add a little bit more glue to the edges. Did he go outside? Okay. And so that's how it's gonna look from the front. So you wanna make sure you have it um, centered. So let me make sure. So turn it around to yourself and make sure it looks like you want it to look. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it in a second too. I'm just checking it from over here. I wanted to wipe some of that glue off, so one more check. So, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna pull it over some this way. Still think I need to center it a little bit more. So, let's do that off camera. So I'm not boring you with that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more glue in that corner down there. Right yeah, so they came out super cute. I'm just gonna let them dry for a second. So when they hang, they're gonna hang this way and they're gonna be super, super adorable. And so I'm just letting them dry a little bit so I can start gluing um, the designs and things that we have, the beads, the flat beads. That, these are actually scrapbook um, things. They have like a little flat back to them and you can just glue them down. I think I can peel the backs off of these and they won't be clear underneath. Whereas sometimes if you peel off the sticker part, then you lose the, um, where it looks solid on the front, but this isn't that kind. So I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit and then we're gonna glue some of these down and we're gonna have an incredible pair of earrings. So I just decided at the last minute to add the denim, um, to add the fringe. Um, I was walking by the denim yesterday as these were um, 
drying and I was like, ooh, that would be cute. They look very artsy. So now it makes me think about what do I want to do with, it makes me wonder what I want to do with this other pair, with the round pair, because I can't just not do anything with them at all, right? So I'm going to go plan out what I might want to do as it relates to some denim on these as well. Well, let's do it together because I just kind of saw it in my mind when I said it to you. So I'm gonna sit the other ones off to the side. Remember we had a template we were using. So I'm thinking that I could create a template using the wooden bead And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out using a larger pair of scissors. I'm gonna cut out just a piece that'll be, and these are the dullest scissors in all of creation. But I'm just gonna cut out a longer piece so it's easier to work with versus me fighting with, holding this whole cut up leg down. <laughs> so let's cut this off. I want some good fabric scissors, but I'm cheap. And I think they're probably not expensive, but I'm just like, I want some good scissors. So I'm going to use this as a template and cut it off. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a super cute round shaped piece of denim as well. And then we'll figure out if we're going to jazz up the little round piece of denim or if we're just going to leave it hanging there at the bottom. I don't know. Or if we're going to add some paint to it because it already has some paint splotches on it. I think when I got them, they had, you know, like that faux paint splotchiness to them. Sorry for cutting off camera. I'm trying to hold this really tight so I can get a, a good circle. Let me try to get closer to you. Don't cut your finger. These little things are sharp. Even though they need to be sharpened, they are sharp. So how cute is that little denim circle? So, I'm thinking about something like that. Where's the top? Like maybe something that way and maybe we'll fringe it out on the sides or maybe we'll just leave it with having denim movement. Y'all, sorry Bolt is making so much noise. He's excited because I think he's going outside to play with Caleb. Let me go cut the other one, we'll be right back. Just so it'll look like it has a little bit of movement to it. And then we're gonna glue it down. So it's gonna be like little Pac-Man. So we're gonna do it something like that. So let me match them up right quick. You guys, I was watching a thrift store video earlier today and it made me wanna go thrifting. Do y'all go to the thrift store? Oh my gosh. I have never met, I think I told y'all that. I've never met a thrift store. I didn't like love and gotta have it. I haven't been thrifting in a minute. Uh-oh, Bolt must be growling, saying, no, you don't need to go buy another thing, honey. <laughs> okay. Let me make sure they match up. I think I need to take this one up just a smidge higher. Let's see. You guys, and so I'm just, um, I got sidetracked because I got, it's so therapeutic just cutting up denim. But anyway, so I got those matched up. We're gonna glue them on. Since you already saw me do that, I'm not gonna do that on camera, but I just wanna encourage you, you can make anything out of, you can make earrings and jewelry out of anything and you can make a business out of anything. You just gotta want to. Hey guys, I'm so excited. Look how they turned out. So we're not finished yet. We're just gonna put the accoutrements on. I found these really pretty glass beads that I've had for a while. I think I got them from AC Moore when they were open. Um, oh, AC Moore. Oh, lovely AC Moore. Where have you been all our lives? But now we have Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Y'all might have other stuff in your area, in your neck of the country. So I'm going to start with this pair only because I already have the little um, beads laid down already. So... 
I'm just using the end of a paintbrush to put the glue on the back. You could always use a, um, a toothpick or something like that if you wanted to. So I'm gonna put that down. Make sure it's in alignment with, I don't wanna put too much. Make sure it's in alignment with the hole up top so when it hangs, it hangs straight. And I like this glue because it dries, you know, relatively quickly. So, and it dries clear. So I like that as well. And you can always clean anything up because I think I want to put another bead in between there. That's why I left that space. I don't know if I left enough space. Let's see. Let's move this over just a smidge. And I don't really use this paintbrush for painting, but I don't necessarily want to get glue on it either. So let's move it that way. And then let's see if we can fit that in there. I don't know if it'll fit, but let's try it. If, it, if anything, worst case scenario, it'll just move the other two beads around. So let's do that. And this is one of those I was talking about where if you pull that white tab off, you're gonna lose the translucency um, that shows up, I should say opaque behind it, and you'll be able to see through it. So you don't wanna do that. I'm gonna grab a toothpick right quick to clean the glue up from around that bead. I'll be right back. I fixed that. I just wanted to get the glue from around that. Look how pretty that is. So we got that all zhuzhed up. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a better job at getting these where I want them initially. I don't have to worry about moving anything around. But thank God we can, right? So I needed to go up a little higher, that's what it was. But I also wanna keep them, you know, side by side as close as possible so that we can make sure they're being lined up properly. I'm being a little clumsy today. Oh yeah, I went to show a house the other day and the stairs were so high up when I came down. Oh no, I was at the closing attorney's office. I was like, child, if anybody fell down these steps, they were so long and high up. I was like, good gracious. And those people have to climb those steps every day. I said, this is like going up a mountainside. <laughs> okay, so let's put this one down. And Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. No thumbs down on this one, but if you do give me a thumbs down, so what? See, I love them, right? It'll be okay. Everything's not for everybody, but I think they are super cute. So I'm going to sit these to the side so they can dry. And let me just make sure they're lined up. Alrighty, so we're gonna sit those off to the side to dry. And now we're gonna work on these. And so we have already decided, of course, which ones we're gonna use. And so I just have to decide um, like what size we're gonna do. So are we gonna do all one size? Are we gonna do different sizes? What's that gonna look like? Are we gonna do silver and gold or just gold? I'm thinking I'm, I'm leaning towards the gold only because there's the navy blue in the background. Um, we probably could do both set. Both said do both. So maybe we'll do a little of both. Let me figure out the pattern and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so look how they turned out. I think they are incredible. I'm gonna turn them that way so you can see them. And also I'll do a closer up look as well from the other direction. So that's that pair. I'm trying to pick up the other pair. And this is the round pair. Now all I have to do is let them finish drying. And then we're gonna add the tops. I noticed that that one is over a little bit. So I'm gonna need to go fix the glue on that one. But while that's happening and taking place and they're drying, we're gonna come back, we're gonna add the findings and we're gonna have a finished pair of incredible paper earrings made with recycled denim and any bead and sticker findings of your choice. They are gorgeous. We are finished. I went on and put the findings on them. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it. And this is how they turned out. I think they are incredible.
perfectly beautiful because honey it was touch and go for a minute y'all saw what happened when i thought they were <laughs> messed up i was like uh what's we gonna do we gotta throw these away but look how beautiful they turned out i pray that you will get some cardboard use your old cereal boxes we're gonna do something with christmas cards um i thought was pretty cool so get your old cards get your cereal boxes your cheese it boxes your old jeans some beads and honey, let's get to making some jewelry. So we are finished. I'm gonna be uploading these into the store late tonight. So there's only two pair, be on the lookout, be there or be square. God bless you all, you guys, you all, and I will see you on the next video.